Assalamu alaikum students Our uh, topic today is Law of Conservation of Angular Momentum Law of Conservation of Angular Momentum As we know that momentum is always conserved either that is a linear momentum or that is the angular momentum. And uh, for example, we know that our earth spins on its axis with no external torque. Its angular momentum is constant. Here is, this is our earth and our earth is rotating about its axis and its angular momentum is conserved all the time that's why the length of the day does not change and it demonstrates that conservation of angular momentum is being done also we can have another example that if there is an ice skater here we have an ice skater first he his arms are stretched and after some time if he brings his arm close if he closes his arms like this now what will happen in this case here the angular velocity here radius is increase if radius is more then it will move at a slower angular velocity and if the radius is less then it will move with greater angular velocity but overall its angular momentum over here if this is its initial angular momentum and this is the final angular momentum according to the law of conservation of angular momentum these both should be equal to each other because there is no external torque is there nobody is pushing this guy and um, this is called law of conservation of uh, angular momentum and we know that law of angular uh, um, the angular momentum is the product of moment of inertia and angular velocity so this is initial this is initial here that must be equal to moment of inertia final moment of inertia multiplied by final angular velocity psi f this is mathematical representation of law of conservation of angular momentum here we can have an example If a tap is moving, means rotating, moving means rotating in such a way. that its moment of inertia is 60 kilogram meter square and its angular velocity is 8 radians per second what will be its angular velocity 
what will be its angular velocity if its moment of inertia is 35 kilogram meter square this is our question and no external torque is there so its solution so there are two situations are provided when the moment of inertia was 60 and when the moment of inertia will be 35 so according to law of conservation of angular momentum li is equal to l final l is angular momentum and we know that the formula is moment of inertia and angular velocity product is its um, angular momentum initial so in the same way final and this is omega final now you see it's given that it's moving it's moving means its i1 is 60 kg meter square and omega i is 8 radians per second then its Uh, moment of inertia final that we want to know no the moment of inertia is 35 kg meter square and uh, its angular velocity what will be its angular velocity so final angular velocity we have to find out very simple just plug in the values i1 is 60 omega i is 8 which is equal to 35 times its final velocity then omega final will be equal to 60 times 8 over 35 then omega final like its angular velocity final is i will use calculator to get the answer 60 multiplied by 8 divided by 35 the answer is 13.71 13.71 don't forget to write the unit that is radians per second radians per second so this is the way that how we will apply law of conservation of angular momentum look again see here if moment of inertia is more then angular frequency will decrease and if moment of inertia is less then angular uh, angular velocity will increase if one thing is increasing other should be decreasing just to make it constant look uh, it's it's we can explain it in this way if angular momentum is if angular momentum is 100 how we can get 100 we can get 100 by two ways 100 times 1 then 100 is also equal to 50 times 2 100 is also equal to 25 times 4 100 is also equal to 20 times 5 Hundred is also equal to ten times ten. So see, students, what is happening? This is angular momentum, and that is equal to moment of inertia, and this is multiplied by angular frequency. What you can see, if angular frequency is one, moment of inertia is one hundred. If angular velocity is two, moment of inertia is fifty. So one thing is increasing, other is decreasing, just to make it constant. so this is the rule if we double the angular frequency the moment of inertia will become half so in this way we have to apply law of conservation of angular momentum that's all for today
Okay, was Masala. 